sleep belt. Hello everybody. I'm doing a video where we're going to Target. Running to Target to get cat food. And actually I'm gonna get the ingredients to make cloud bread because I just watched a video of myself making cloud bread six years ago. No, seven years ago. So no six no seven years ago. So I thought I'd try it again tonight. <laughs> so I need the ingredients from Target along with some cat food and dog food and daddy came with me. But I'm going to a different Target. Not the one I go to, but the other one. God damn it. Destination has been reached. We are at Target. Daddy stayed in the car. But I'm going in to get cat food and then stuff to make the cloud bread for tonight. It's going to be so fun. Because I have a better... Um, <laughs> I'll have to link the uh, video I was talking about in this description so y'all can watch it. It's actually kind of funny because I didn't have a hand mixer, so I literally had to make it by hand. Alright, so before I go get the ingredients, I gotta get my cats some food. So I get shine. Oh, those. And then Mama's cat. What did she like? Oh, don't be more cat. And she likes this one. With her, that one as well. Okay, we're doing good. All right, guys, first thing is parchment paper, and I see some right here. Three, 329. Yeah. And there's this one, 549. Or bleach, 399. We'll stick with the open up, I guess. What's this? Parchment paper. Huh. Oh, in bags. And I guess those will have to do. This will be fine. Okay, it's, it's all good. thing is cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. T -t tartar. Oh, that's a big one. I don't know if I need that much. If I even need any, actually. But if I get home and I don't have it, I'll be upset. There's that. That's the only one I got. Uh, vanilla. There's another one. Looks better, but I mean, this is deeper. That was fun. I got all the ingredients um, and some other stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, I am heading back to the car to get back in that on the road to maybe get dog food. I don't know. Alright, guys, so I'm letting this sit out so it becomes room temperature. There, ooh, There's my cream of tartar. Parchment paper. I have the eggs in there. And then I was wanting to see if I had a little... Oh, look at there. I did. But how old is this thing? Best. Oh my goodness, it is old. So good thing I got a new one. Sheesh. Okay, here we go. So I got this set up. It's all ready to go. I'm probably gonna make a short while I'm doing this as well. So here's my pan and my two bowls. That's the same bowl I used in the video I did seven years ago. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, first thing we do is separate the whites from the yolks in two bowls. So let's get that going. Really?
Next, we gotta get the cream of tartar. Tartar. One fourth a teaspoon. Actually, yeah. Let's do that in a second. Two tablespoons of cream cheese. Mm. I got the whipped. I hope that's going to be okay. Fold these together. So it should become a smooth consistency. Good enough, it has some clumps in it, but it'll be fine. I'm fine. Okay, leave that. Then we take um, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Okay, pop it in. Then comes the fun part, which I didn't have last time, I haven't upgraded since then. Here. So we got to whip this continuously for 10 to 15 minutes or until we see uh, stiff peaks form. So this time I have this guy. It's going to be a lot faster. you know it's ready you hold it upside down and it won't come out all right next step is we're folding the um yolk mixture into the white mixture wish i could have you guys up a little higher no way to keep it there there mm. oh, never mind i need a gorilla grip it's all good so we're pouring this and we're folding it in. Those little cream cheese clumps are still in here. And we'll make it work, it'll be fine. So we pour it in. Gently fold it. So gently fold. You don't want to just start because that could ruin the fluffiness of it. So we got to fold it gently. And make sure everything is combined. Continue to do that for a little bit, and then we'll continue on the next step. Mm. 
Next up, par parchment paper on but it's got a little loose. All right. Now we're going to stick them in the preheated oven at 350 for, I don't know, 15 minutes, I guess. There we go. All right. Here's how they're coming. Ooh, they're getting golden brown. Lovely. I think they're more than done. Oh, they are. All right, I like it um crunchy. So these might be perfect. All right. I'm gonna have a golden. Okay, here we go. Taste test. All right, guys. Here is the taste test. Here's the bread. And we gotta see me rip it apart like I did in the other. It got. It has more color on it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Tastes like egg. Mm. But in bread form. Mmm. It's good. I like it. Mmm. Might as well finish. Mm. That's good. Try cloud bread. It's so easy. And it's good. Oh my gosh, my omelet. I love my cloud bread. It's so good. I forgot how that tasted. It really literally just tastes like egg. If you're wanting to know the flavor. It's an egg. But in like the shape of clouds and bread. So therefore you have a different kind of texture going on. Oh, Alright, well I'm in the office now. Get ready to... I love finding a hair on my plate. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And the subscriptions. And be sure to go to the Redhead Review and subscribe there. Yeah. Alright, well I'm going to eat this and... Maybe get Carrie in my film when she comes home and then go to bed. I'm sleepy, everybody. So it's time for bed. I didn't get Carrie, sorry. She's kind of in a mood tonight. So you don't want to see her in a mood. With that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow.